I'm going to show you how to build a flying jig to reinforce your picture frame. So let's get started. To build this jig, you want to build a box around your fence that slides along it. Here I'm getting the gauge of how tall these pieces need to be. Now one thing to keep in mind here, I'm using the depth gauge and I did not take into account the width of the blade. So I will be cutting these a little short and later on I do go off camera and actually recut these. So keep that in mind. You do use a depth gauge to take into account the width of your blade. And eventually I will build an outfeed table for this little table saw. I mean, I picked up this table saw for 15 bucks on a local swap page and it served me well and it does need an outfeed table, however, I may not want to spend the money on this little table saw to put an outfeed table behind it, but uh, I guess for now I'll just be pushing the pieces off the pack like I'm doing right now. Next you want to lightly clamp your runner boards to your fence in order to get the measurement for the top board. And here I'm using the depth gauge in order to determine that width. And next I will be ripping that board down. And next with the uh, board still lightly clamped, I went ahead and pre-drilled the holes in order to secure all three pieces together. And it's a good idea to check and see to make sure that the guide is still going to slide across your fence. So here I was checking before I continued with securing the pieces together to make sure it wasn't too tight of a fit. And now I move on to the vertical panel of the jig and here I found my center line and then I created 245 degree angles with my speed square and next I cut the vertical supports for this blind jig and I'm cutting 45s on the ends of these and it's really pure aesthetics. You could have uh, 90 degree cuts on these and it would be no issue whatsoever. And next I move on to securing the support pieces to the vertical portion of the spline jig. And I'm using the speed square and one thing I attempted to do was screw these support pieces down and what they tended to do was slide around. So eventually I used the speed square held down with a clamp in order to secure each support piece. And you'll see I have a bunch of different holes there. I was pre-drilling and they were moving everywhere. And now I'm ready to secure the vertical portion of the spline jig to the runner that I built previously. added the wood glue and then clamped it down to hold it while I pre-drilled and screwed two screws in and I believe that will hold just fine until the glue dries. Now I used a countersink bit to make the screws flush with the vertical board. It's not necessary, it will not interfere with the performance of the spline jig. So now you're ready to put a frame on or a box and here I just clamped it down with two spring clamps and ran it through the saw very slowly and the splines turned out great. So thanks for watching guys. This was my first attempt at building a jig of this kind. Now this thing is definitely not uh, aesthetically very attractive. I used scrap wood and I pieced it together but you can make it look as uh, visually pleasing as you wish. So 
but the main part is it functions the way it's supposed to function and I just use scrap from the stuff I had laying around. I had built picture frames in the past. Um, I had never done splines before and I actually never had an issue with a frame uh, coming apart. But this particular frame that you can see at the end of the video that I ran through this, my miters were a little off. So actually the spline jig would definitely reinforce those corners to the point where I'm not going to be worried about them coming apart. So I'll leave a link below to uh, Make Something's channel, uh, David Picciuto. I got the inspiration to uh, start frame building from his series, and I'll leave a link down below. Go check out his. His is definitely <laughs> going to look nicer than this one. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions about this build or anything else that you've seen on my channel, please feel free to ask in the comments. And until next time, we'll see you later.